I'm ready. Here with the Monica Chiefs head basketball coach and now playing goalie today, R.J. Spellsberg as the Chiefs win at 59-57 to here at Virginia Wesleyan College over the Western Branch Bruins, a 6A contender. Well, coach, uh, you get down early, you go in the second quarter, you take the lead, it's 29-28, it's a close ball game. Did you feel like this had that feel of almost one of those playoff games you had a year ago? Yeah, I told the boys on the way down here that this is going to feel like uh, the state championship game and we need to come out and, and value the basketball and run through our stuff and uh, hopefully we'll come out with a win. And uh, they did that. This is probably the most poise we've had this year. Um, I have some great players, and sometimes uh, they like to take um, too many shots or play a little bit of individual ball sometimes. But I think when crunch time comes, when we're playing really good teams, they listen and in a show today that we, we can play with the best people in the state of Virginia. Miles Loving, Kurt McFarlane, he wasn't a major factor for last year's state title winning team. I think of guys like Greg Perriman Wallace, Washington, who we talked to a little bit ago, uh, Nick Parks, who's now at CNU, Trajan McPhail, is probably the underrated guy we'll get to in a moment, but um, he stepped up today with 15 points, three, still got the MVP trophy. I'll tell you what, Miles is, is a great player for us. He can run one through five for us. Mm -hmm. um, he played JV last year. Uh, we brought him up in the state tournament run. He was on a 15 and one JV team. He's a great player. He, has, he just he never stops running. He's like full speed. He knows the game. He's unselfish. Uh, he's he's probably one of the keys to if we have success this year, it's going to be him doing something for us. McPhail might be, and Will pointed out earlier, we'll go up with us today from Virginia Prince, the most underrated guy on your team because last year he had to guard big and small. He looks bigger than his size. He gets 14 points, 12 rebounds today. He could have very easily been the player of the game as well. Yeah, Trayvon uh, does a great job for us. What people don't understand is he's kind of like Darian Peterson for us. Um, he's really a guard. He's playing out of position because we need somebody to go down low. He can shoot the three for us. Um, but when, when big games come, he steps up and gets rebounds for us, which is, is what we need from him um, to improve on is just to keep getting the rebounds. Greg Perriman's really become your go-to scorer this year. Actually, we saw his talent really blossom in the tournament, but 21 a game coming in today, he doesn't have a big game. But the thing about him is he doesn't make a lot of mistakes or get too rattled usually. And Greg doesn't care about scoring. He's getting those 21 off about 12 shots a game. He is a total team player, team point guard. Um, he is he's all about the team. So. If he, if he keeps doing what he's doing, we'll have success. Well, actually, I think you guys are in an interesting position because if you lose a few games, they say, oh, Monica, what's wrong? Obviously, you guys won a state championship last year. People say, well, it's a sooner or run because you were a four seed. And then you're also at a school where your girls' basketball program is so good and nationally ranked that it kind of lets you fly under the radar to an extent. How have you guys handled the success and used that as motivation in a sense? Uh, we're always jealous of the girls' team, but we think we've proved ourselves. Right. And, uh, you know, when we took the job, um, there were some great coaches at Monica before us, but they had had a few losing seasons, maybe five wins and three seasons. And I think we've taken it to the next level and deserve some respect. Uh, we play a tough schedule. We beat 6A teams. We lose to 6A teams. We beat 3A teams. We lose to 3A teams. But I think we play a tough schedule, and that just prepares us. And uh, people can call us Cinderella's, and it's a great story, probably in modern-day Hoosiers. But I think this team deserves um, the credit, especially after what we're doing now. So. We'll keep an eye on the Chiefs as we get closer to March. Thanks for your time. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.